These Asda frozen party foods are ideal for Christmas parties. They're so tasty, your guests may be tempted to take a few home with them. So remember to check their pockets and handbags before they leave. Asda, sponsors of The Price is Right. We're off! With a bumper episode of your favourite game show. It's The Price is Right! Here we go. It's time to meet the stars of the show. Jenny Shaw, come on down. Steve Coulter, come on down. Serena Carroll. Contestants who are going to play The Price is Right. But there'd be no show without Joe. It's Joe Pasquale! Welcome, everybody. Welcome to The Price is Right. Hello, Jenny. Hello. Hello, darling. Where are you from? Ashton Underline. Ashton Underline. And what do you do for a living, Jenny? I'm a hairdresser. You're a hairdresser? Oh, you're a foxy, attractive hairdresser lady, aren't you, love? <laughs> I went to the barbers the other day, asked for a number two. I won't tell you what they put on my head, though, love. <laughs> nice to meet you, Jen. Have a good day with us. And we've got Steve. Hello, Steve. Hi, John. Hello, mate. Hi. Oh, yeah. You're a popular man. Where are you from, Steve? From Rochdale, John. From Rochdale. And what do you do for a living, Steve? I work in childcare, John. What sort of a, a, What do you do at childcare, then? Just look after teenagers. Oh, really? I bet there's no fighting in amongst them, there really isn't. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Oh, I used, used to be a doorman. I used to be a doorman, like a bouncer? Yeah. Oh, great. So, oh, yeah, I bet they've come from looking like bouncy castles to bear bouncy yeah. <laughs> Steve, have a good day with us, mate. Enjoy Cheers. yourself. Oh, we've got Serena. Yeah, hello, hello, Serena. Hello, darling. Hello, Jay. Yeah. You look completely normal, love. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> And where are you from, Serena? I'm from Surrey. From Surrey, yeah. OK. And what... Oh, yeah, well, just a few, yeah, just a few there. And why are you dressed up like that? Any particular uh, reason? No, I got out of bed like this, this I morning. understand. <laughs> Have a good day with Serena. And we've got Dennis. Hello, Dennis. Hello, hey. You're a popular boy. It's like Broke Mac Burns in behind you there. <laughs> where are you from, Dennis? Macclesfield. Macclesfield, yeah. yeah well done. What do you do for a living, Dennis? I'm a driving instructor. A driving instructor? Oh, listen, I shouldn't tell you. So I actually, actually hit a rabbit on the way here today, right? <laughs> Not of my car, just went to a pet shop and punched one on the nose. <laughs> and Dennis, nice to meet you, mate. Have a good Thank day, you. everybody. Thanks for playing. Let's have a look, see what's up for grabs today. Have a look at this. It's a stylish DVD player. <laughs> do you like listening to fast music? Well, you can with this fantastic Porsche-style DVD player. Very handy if your favourite film is Speed. Oh, nice stuff there. Yeah. Okay, well, you're fixed on that. Whoever gets the closest about going over the top is taking that home. Jenny, what's your bit, darling? Yeah. 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 250. 250 from Jenny. Steve. 229, Joe. 229 from Steve. Serena. 260. 260, Serena. Dennis. 125. 125 from Dennis. The actual price of that DVD player is £240, Steve! That's right! Well, mate, today. You're a lovely bloke. You want a lovely DVD player, mate. But how would you like to put this with it as well? I'm looking like to win this, mate. It's a fabulous bar billiards table. Hours of fun for you, your friends and your family with this traditional style bar billiards table. Why not set up your own league? Supplied with cues, balls and a high quality cloth, you could be the next Steve Davis. Oh, nice, that, that, OK, mate, to win that lovely prize, we're going to play a game called On The Nose. Yeah. OK, the game's called On The Nose because a picture of me there with a balloon on my nose. All you've got to do is pop that balloon using a playing dart. Okay. Now, how many darts you get depends on how much you know about the price of that billiards table, OK? Right. We've got three options there. We've got £1,500, £1,700 or £2,000. If you pick the right price on the nose, you get three darts. If you guess the furthest away from the actual price, you only get one dart. 
closest to the actual price of that being on the nose, you get two darts. OK, mate? Have a look at the three prices. Which one do you think it is? Guess the right one, you've got three darts. 1700, Joe. 17, middle, middle, middle one. one. He says 17, Ricardo. 17, is it 17? 70, oh, OK, you've got two darts. OK, let's look at the other one. Three, ah, there it was 15, mate, but don't worry. You've got two chances. Let's get rid of these then, mate. Get rid of that, I'll take that and that. OK, you've got two chances here, Steve. Come and stand on the hockey here, mate. Take your time. Well, this you play darts, Steve? Uh, I've done before. You have done before. OK, well, wait till I've moved out the way. I'm just getting you in the way, OK? <laughs> Right, that's what you've got to pop there, mate. Can be done. Take your time, relax. You can do this, Steve. One dart only. Congratulations. That's not the end of the show either. No, we'll just see you later on at the wheel when the chance on the festival is annihilated, okay? Yes, we'll no, see you soon. We'll see you after break. See you soon. Bye. These Asda mince pies are so yummy, you won't want to leave any out for Santa. Leave him some celery instead. He could do with shedding a few pounds. A Christmas dinner wouldn't be complete without an Asda Christmas pudding. It's so tasty, it definitely won't be a leftover you'll be eating on Boxing Day. Welcome back to The Price is Right. We have a space on contestants' row. Who's going to fill it? Katie Allen! Come on down! Hello, Katie! Hello! Oh, hello, darling. You sounded like me then. Where are you from, Katie? North Skelton in Cleveland. Oh, in Cleveland. Whoa. You're a very tall lady. What do you do for a living, Katie? I'm a police officer. You're a police officer? Yeah. Hey, good for you, darling. Nice to meet you, Katie. Thanks for playing, darling. Have a look at this. I'm going to want your bid on it. It's an elegant and unique lamp. Now, this is an unusual item. This urchin with umbrella lamp sure would light up any dinner party. And it could be yours. OK, Katie, you're up first, sweetheart. What do you think? One for five from Dennis. Jenny, you're up, darling. What do you think, Jenny? 150. 150 from Jenny. The actual price of that lamp is 169 pounds, Jenny. <laughs> Jenny. Oh. Hello, darling. Nice to meet you. Good. Come stand this side of me, love. You okay? Yep. Good girl, and you're from Ashton Underline. I am, yes. And you're a hairdresser. Yeah. And who have you got with you today then, Jen? Got my mum and friends and family. Mum and friends and family, <laughs> okay, darling. Mm -hmm. And do you do the shopping at home? I do, yeah. You do, well, hopefully that'll help you win a lovely prize. Let's see what we've got to win behind these doors as well as the lamp you already won. Look at this. It's a fabulous sports scooter. An unbeatable combination of style, practicality and performance means this has been a bestseller for years. Boasting a powerful 125cc four-stroke engine and coming in fashionable stone grey, you can pootle around town or blast down the motorways with ease. This is the perfect vehicle for your shopping or commuting needs. You could scoot off with this two and a half thousand pound prize. Thank you, Jim. It's a very easy game, very simple, but think about this, OK? The game we're going to play to win that bike is called Walk the Line. I'll explain the game to you in a minute. All you've got to do is listen to these descriptions of these own brand products. A pack of ten cleaning cloths. A two and a half kilogram bag of potatoes. A box of twenty beef burgers. A one kilogram tub of sunflower spread. A large bottle of salad cream. OK, get all of that. Yep. OK, the game's called Walk the Line. I'll give you the price of the first item, which is 87 pence. Those cloths, 87 pence. All you've got to decide, Jen, is each item higher or lower priced than the previous one. If you get it right, you win that bike. Get all of them right, you've got to win the, to win the bike, OK? Higher. What do you think about the potatoes? Are they higher or lower? Higher. She says the potatoes are higher, Reynard. Oh. She says the potatoes are higher. Are they higher? I don't know. Well, open it. Have a look at this. Uh, yes, open it now, you yeah. spatula. Open it. Higher, yes! <laughs> one pound thirty-seven. Well done. Okay. Beef burgers higher or lower than one thirty-seven? What's your mum say? Your mum's saying higher. 
That's up to you. Uh, 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 go on, Mum. You're going to go what your mum says? She's going up higher. Oh. She says higher. Oh. Higher, is it higher? Oh. Please be higher. Higher! <laughs> OK, 2014. Marjorie Smith, higher or lower? Salad cream, higher or lower? Saying, my, my mum's saying higher, but the rest are saying lower. Yeah, I'm going to go with lower. Lower? lower. She says lower, Reynard. Please be lower than 152. Yeah! Yeah! Well done, give us a kiss, Ken. Well done, Rob. Congratulations, that's not the end of the show. We'll see you later on at the wheel. Chance on the Pasquale in Fernali. Come with Raynard, he'll look after you. Well done. See you in a minute, Ken. Well, Ken is a lucky winner there. It means we need a new player. Who have we got next? Maxine Dennett. Come on down. Hello, Maxine. You don't oh, get out much, do you, Max? Oh, yeah, that's what I love you. Yeah. Maxine, I've got to say, your name tag as well as your brain has gone curly there. That's it, well done, Maxine. Where are you from, Maxine? Alden. You're on medication, aren't you? <laughs> and what do you do for a living, Maxine? Love. I'm a supervisor. Oh, a supervisor. Mm, that sounds very sensual. <laughs> OK, Maxine, nice to meet you, darling. Thanks for playing. Have a look at this. Somebody's going to win it. It's a gorgeous pendant which comes with an equally stunning pair of delicate matching earrings. <laughs> Resplendent with gold detail and an exquisite diamond pendant, this is a gift that will really set the pulse racing. Nice pair of jewelry, Maxine. What's your pick, darling? Katie. 220. 220 from Katie. Serena. Uh, 249. 249 from Serena. Dennis. 180. 180 from Dennis. The actual price, you'll be surprised to know, on that jewellery is 472. A bit leery, aren't they? Are you a lot? Okay. <laughs> and Maxine, you're from Oldham, is that right? That's right. And you're a supervisor, is that right? I am, yes. And who have you got with you today, Maxine? I've got all my work colleagues and my husband. Okay, and what's your husband's name? Peter. Peter, okay, <laughs> darling. Well, you've already won nearly 500 quid worth of jewellery, but how would you like to win? Have a look at this. See what you make of this. Look at this, Maxine. It's a fantastic blow cart. <laughs> Blow karting is the world's trendiest new sport, and it's ideal for anyone regardless of age or size. Able to accelerate quickly, the blow kart is perfect for tight situations in small areas. Being light and stable, it allows for close, exciting action. And this unique prize packs down into a bag which will fit in the boot of most cars. <laughs> well done, Maxie. It's a lovely prize there. Yeah? There's loads of places in Oldham you could use that. You could go to work on that, couldn't you, Maxine? OK, darling. To win it, we're going to play a game called Price Tags. We have five price tags here. There's £2,000, 2400 2100 2500 2250 One of those price tags is the correct price of that thing there. The game's called Price Tags. I'll give you one free choice of one of those price tags to guess the correct answer. And I'll give you three chances now to win up to three more. Listen to these descriptions of this first item. It's a funky milkshake maker. OK, milkshake maker, Maxine. That's priced at £40. Is that right or is it wrong? <laughs> what do you think? Wrong. Wrong? She says it's wrong. She says it's wrong. That's a wrong. Oh, no! That's the right answer. You don't listen to your lot anymore. OK, you still only got one price tag choice, OK? Listen to this description. Get chopping with this six-in-one blender. Six in one blender's priced at fifty pounds. Is that the right answer? Or is it wrong? No, it's wrong. It's wrong? She says fifty pounds is wrong. Is it wrong? Yeah, right down, yeah. Good girl. It's sixty-five. Good girl. We've got two choices now. One more to go. Listen to this one, Maxine. Take a walk on the wild side with this electric walk. Electric walk, one hundred pounds is priced at. Is that right or is it wrong? 
It's wrong. She says it's wrong. She says it's wrong. Is it wrong? It's wrong. Well done. Good girl. Good girl. It's 80. OK, Maxine, that means we've got three choices now. I can give you three choices of picking the correct price tag, OK? You've got three chances now. What's the first one you want to go for? Two thousand one hundred. Two thousand one hundred. Two thousand one. Yeah, yeah. Two thousand one hundred. Is she a winner? Is she a winner? Is it two thousand? No. Okay. Two more chances, Maxine. Two more, darling. What do you think, Maxine? It's your choice, darling. Two thousand four hundred. 2,400, say 2,4. Yeah, 2,400, is she a winner? Is it 2,4? No! Maxine! One left. One choice left. What do you think, Maxine? 2,2,5. Two, 2,2,5? Two, two, Bottom one? You sure? That's what we're going for. Is she a winner? Oh. I'm sorry, Maxie. Don't worry. That's not the end of the show. You come with me now on the wheel. We'll see what happens there. Come on, me, darling. Come on, Maxie. Oh, I'm sorry, love. Come Well done, everyone. Well done, everybody. Welcome to the famous wheel. Everybody gets to spin the wheel now. Whoever gets the closest to 100, either one spin or a combination of two, without going over the 100 goes through to the Pasquale finale at the end of the show. If you do get 100, either one or two spins, you go home with a thousand pound cash in your pocket as well, okay? Maxine, you ought to go first, darling. It's got to go all the way around at least once. Give it a good hard spin, love. Good luck, darling. <laughs> good hard spin, Maxine. <laughs> That's it, Maxine. Well done, lovely. Stand back here with me. Let's see where it goes. Stand here, you can see the front there, Maxine. <laughs> Sticking on that. She's sticking on 75. Stay there with Natalie. She'll look after you. OK, 75 to beat, Steve. Come on, mate. Come on, Steve. Come on, mate. 75 to beat from Maxine. Do you know what that means? Yes. Do you know what that means? I think so, mate. Yeah, look, so, mate. thousand pounds. That's for you, sir. You can't stand up there. Sorry, Maxine. Okay, Jim. All you can do is equalise, darling. You can equalise there what Steve got. Try and get a hundred, love. Well done, Jim. Come back here, darling. Go on, you've got to go again. Try and get a 95, love. Try and get the 95. Where is it? There. Go back here, lovely. We're looking for that 95. There it is. Is it going to come round again? So I'm thinking it is, darling. No, I'm sorry, Jenny. Thanks for playing. Give me a kiss, darling. Thanks for playing. Good luck, my darling. Thanks for playing. Steve, come here, mate. Come stand here, Steve. That means you're through the end of the show at the Pasquale Finale. You happy about that? Yes, I am. Thousand pounds in your pocket as well. We'll see you after break with four new players. See you soon. Well done, Steve. If you're a chocoholic, look away now. This has the frozen chocolate gato is so chocolatey, it'll send you over the edge. Who cares? It's Christmas. These Asda Yule Logs are so scrummy, you really wish it could be Christmas every day. But then again, it would be cold all the time, so maybe not. Welcome back to The Price is Right. Steve, our furniture come child care assistant, is through to Pasquale Finale. We need four new players for him to play against. Who's it going to be? Annie Starkey, come on down! Ian Grinshaw, come on down! <laughs> Janet Pendlebury, come on down! <laughs> Paul Jones, come on down! <laughs> you really going to play The Price is Right. Well done, everybody. Welcome to 
Welcome to the Price is Right. Hello, Annie. Hi, Joe. Hello, darling. I'm Where from, are you from, Annie? I'm from Macclesfield. From yeah. Macclesfield, yeah. Well done, Annie. And uh, what do you do for a living, Annie? I'm a theatre recovery nurse. A theatre recovery yeah. nurse. Oh, good for you, darling. How long have you been working in hospitals, uh, sir? Well, since 1969. Oh, long time. Well done. Good for you, darling. Nice to meet you, Annie. And hello, Ian. Hello. Hello, mate. Where are you from? I'm from Huddersfield. From Huddersfield. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well done, Ian. And you look a bit like Mr. Potato Head when you stick the <laughs> nose and you're like him. And what are you going to live in, Ian? I'm a sales manager for an insurance company. Ah, good man. Nice to meet you, Ian. Have a Thank good you. day with us, sir. And we've got Janet. Hello, Janet. Hello, Janet. Hello, sweetheart. Hello. Oh, yeah. Well, are you, uh, Janet? And where are you from, lovely? I'm from Chalison in Oldham. From Oldham. And what do you do for a living, Janet? I'm a supervisor at Wholesalers. Oh, a, a wholesaler. Well, it's a nice wholesaler. to meet you as well. <laughs> you sell holes, then, obviously. We do. OK, <laughs> nice to meet you, Janet. And we've got Paul. Hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. Hey. Yeah, very good, man. And I've got to say, you're like Action Man with that hair and oh, your eyes that move like that. <laughs> Where are you from, Paul? I'm from the Wirral. From the Wirral? Yeah. OK, mate. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do for a living, Paul? I'm a special needs teacher. Ah, oh, special needs. Good for you, mate. Good, uh, ad admirable job, that is, Paul. Nice to meet you, Thank mate. You. Everybody, enjoy yourselves. Thanks for playing today. Which one of you lucky people is going to win this? It's a bagless cyclone vacuum cleaner. Here's the perfect way to ease those tiresome daily chores. Suitable for carpets and hard floors, it packs a powerful 1,400 watts of suction. It comes with a range of tools for all your needs. OK, Annie, you're first, darling. What's your thing about going over the top? One six oh. 160 for Annie. Ian. What do you think, Ian? Uh, 89. 89 for me, Ian. Janet. 99. 99 for Janet Paul. 88. 88. 88 from Paul. The actual price of that vacuum cleaner is £150, Janet! Nice to meet you, darling. You OK? Yeah. Good girl. And you're from Oldham? Yes. And you yes. work for a wholesaler. I do. And yes. you already want a lovely vacuum cleaner. Do you need, Which I need it? You need yes. a new vacuum? I need a new vacuum. Did, uh, do you have one packed up or something? Yeah, yes. Okay, well, it's a nice new one there, about 150 quid worth there, whatever it was. And you look at this. It's a laptop computer. <laughs> this is the perfect home entertainment solution in one brilliant machine. With 17 inch widescreen display, an awesome 120 gigabyte storage and docking station, this mean machine covers all your computing and gaming needs. This will entertain you too. It's worth £1,700. Well, that's a nice one, then. OK, darling. Well, hopefully, working in the wholesale will help you with this game, OK? Yeah. Because we're going to play a game called Pick a Pair. The game's called Pick a Pair. We have four own brand products there. The game's called Pick a Pair because that's what you have to do. You have to pick me two items that are the same price, OK? To help you make the decision, listen to these descriptions. A one-litre jar of mayonnaise. A pack of four fish cakes. A box of eight fondant fancies. A 500-gram box of organic bran flakes. OK, Janet, now there are four items there. There's only two pairs of prices, though. No. All you need to do is pick me one pair and that computer's yours. Which two items are the same price? Mayonnaise. Think about your job, think about your wholesale. I'm going to go for the fondants. You're going to go for the fondants? Yeah. yeah. What's going to match the fondants, then? And I'm going to go for... the mayonnaise. Mayonnaise and yeah, the fondants? Mayonnaise and the fondants. Mayonnaise and the fondants, you think they're the same price, is that right? Hopefully, yeah. OK, is that definitely it? Yeah. Mayonnaise yeah. and fondants, OK. Let's have a look at the mayonnaise. How much is the mayonnaise? Oh, 98 pence on the mayonnaise. That means the fondants have got to be 98 pence for you to win that computer. OK, good luck on this, love. Are the fondant fancies 98 pence? Please be 98 pence. Are they 98 p? Yeah! Let's have a look. Fish cakes, 124. Well done. Give us another one. Well done. Congratulations, Thank love. You. If you go with Nanda, she'll look after you. See you at the wheel in a little while. Well, Janice, run a computer, but we need a new player. Who's up next? Andrew Lloyd. Come on down. So he's a bit of state of shock there, you like that? Just a bit. I understand. Where are you from, mate? I'm from Cheshire. From Cheshire. Yeah. Oh. 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 A 
a big deep cheer there from a load of rugby players. And what do you do for a living, Andrew? I work for an airline at Manchester. Okay, mate. Well, it's lovely to meet you, Andrew. Thanks for playing. Have a look at this, mate. What do you think it's worth? It's a classic Art Deco styled Empire State radio and CD player. Take yourself back to the Roaring Twenties with this retro audio system. Charleston the night away as you listen to your favourite tunes. That's a nice piece of kit there, Andrew. What do you think the figures on that, mate? £130. £130 for Andrew. Paul, what do you think, mate? £199. £199 for Paul and Annie. Two ten. Two ten from Annie. Ian. One three nine. One three nine from Ian. The actual price of that CD radio is two hundred and nineteen. Annie. <laughs> yeah. Well done, Annie. Well done, darling. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. you having a nice day today? Oh, fabulous. Good girl. Fabulous. And you're from Macclesfield? Yeah. Cheshire, yeah, Cheshire, Macclesfield in Cheshire, Cheshire yeah. and you're a theatre recovery nurse, that's that right? I am. And you've got any other nurses with you I've today? I've got the grand up there. Oh, and, and he's up there. Uh, the what? girls at the top there, a few of them, and my brother and all the gang from the pub, the pool oh, team. Oh, it's quite well, it's yeah. nice to meet you. Well done, lovely. Thank and you. And you already won that lovely CD radio, that's nice, mm. isn't it? Yes, that's lovely. We've Thank got a lovely you. prize behind these doors. Okay. How would you like to win this, Annie? Have a look at this, darling. It's a lazy boy chair. <laughs> Pretend you're Joey from Friends with this superb, fully adjustable item of furniture. Made from the highest quality fabric and easily angled to your favourite chill-out level, it's time to sit back and relax in the utmost comfort. It even has a built-in telephone and beer fridge. It'll be there for you at an amazing £1,000. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? You like that? Yeah, lovely. He looks a bit like Joey from yeah. Friends as well, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah, look at the state of him. OK, lovely. To win that lovely prize there, we're going to play one of my favourite games. We're going to play Cliffhanger. And to play Cliffhanger, we need some psychic yodelling from my twin brother, Reynard. Reynard, come do it, big boy. Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, yes, get off, you spanner face. Get off. You've got to work the game. Get around there and work in the little man. OK, I need to play this game. We have a little mountain climber up the top there. See him there? The idea is to stop him falling off the edge of the cliff like that. Oh, like that. We don't want that to happen, OK? Right. The way we stop that happening is by guessing the price of three household items. Now, for every pound you're out on the actual guess, it can move up one step. It can move up a total of 25 steps. If he goes more than 25, he's going to fall off the edge. If he does that, right. the game's over. You're under in the prizes. You've got right up to that point. Right. Does that make sense, love? I think so, yeah. OK, yeah. good girl, Annie. OK, listen to this description of the first item, then. It's a relaxing foot spa. Oh, foot spa. How much is a foot spa, Annie? What do you think? <laughs> what do you think, Annie? About £15. Fifteen pounds, she says. Fifteen pounds. Is fifteen pounds right? No, fifteen pounds is wrong. How wrong is she? Fifteen pounds. Oh, four pounds. Well done. Let's have a look. How much was it, Nat? It was eleven. Look at that, eleven. Only four per out. Well done. Okay, the next one's going to be more expensive. Right. Listen to this description, Annie. It's a handy steam iron. Handy steam iron, Andy. What do you think? How much is steam iron, sir? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight? She says twenty-eight pounds. Is twenty-eight pounds right? No, it's wrong. How wrong is twenty-eight pounds? <laughs> is that it? A pound? Oh, well done. A pound. How much is it now? Let's have a look. 29, good guess, well done. One more to go, OK, one more to go, and you've got £20 to play with, OK? Listen to this description, Annie. Some high-tech kitchen scales. High-tech ki kitchen scales, right. high-tech kitchen scales. Uh, How much are they, Annie? It's more expensive. <laughs> got to be within £20 to be a winner now. Uh, uh, 35. 35? It's up to you, love. Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine pounds? OK. No, it's up to you. It's your choice, love. Are you happy with thirty-nine or not? Thirty-five. Thirty-five? Yeah, thirty-five. Thirty-five pounds, yeah, 35. OK. You've got to be within twenty pounds for this, OK? She says thirty-five pounds. Is she right at thirty-five pounds? No, she's wrong. You've got to be within twenty pounds on this, Annie. OK, good luck on this, darling. How wrong is she? <laughs>
Oh, I'm sorry, love. How much is it? Let's have a look. How much was it? 60 quid. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. That's not the end of the show, though. We're going to see you later on the wheel, possibly on the Pasquale finale. Big round of applause for Annie. Well done, Annie. Sorry about it, Don. Go on, Matthew. She'll look after you. See you in the show. Well, Annie didn't win a lazy boy chair, but we need one more person from today's audience. Who's up next? Emma Greenall. Where are you from, Emma? I'm from Rochdale. From Rochdale, yeah. Yeah, you don't sound like it, love. No, I'm from Milton Keynes. Ah, I'm... see, I thought so. Well, you move up to Rochdale, obviously. I have, yeah. Oh, good. Which you prefer, Rochdale or Milton Keynes? Milton Keynes. Milton Keynes, ah. Oh. There's a lot more roundabouts there, though, isn't there, there is, Emma? Yeah. Well, it's nice to meet you, darling. What do you do for a living? I'm in sales. In sales. And what do you sell then? Advertising. Oh, that's okay. Well, it's nice to meet you, Emma. Have a good day, darling. Have a look at this. What's your bid on it? It's an elegant silver heart with matching bangle. Contemporary in style and chunky in form, this hallmark silver item on a fashionable cord chain also comes with an equally lovely matching bangle. OK, Emma, you're up first, darling. What's your feeling on that lovely jewellery? 140. 140 from Emma. Ian? 299. 299 from Ian Andrew. 150. 150 from Andrew Paul. 170. 170 from Paul. The actual price of that jewellery is £233. Paul, that's you, sir. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm Paul. Well, uh, congratulations, mate. Come stand next to me, love. And you're from the Wirral. From the Wirral. From, yeah. from the Wirral, and you're a special needs teacher. Oh, yeah. And you want some lovely jewellery, that pendant there. Have you got some? You got a partner you can give that to? I have. She's yeah. sitting in the audience. Oh, she's in the way. She's over there. Yeah. What's her name? Joanne. Joanne. Okay, mate. Well, also with that pendant, you won the pendant. We've got a lovely prize behind these doors. How would you like to take this back to the Wirral? Look at this, Paul. It's a superb hi-fi system. <laughs> Brought to us by a leading manufacturer on the market, this top-of-the-range system, complete with incredible crystal-clear speakers, will certainly enhance your audio and visual enjoyment. Modern and sleek in style, you can access CD player facility, AM, FM radio and DVD video. This really is top of the pops. That's a nice piece of kit there, Paul. Mm -hmm. OK, mate. To win that, we're going to play a game called Half and Half. The game's called half and half because the price of that unit there is a four-figure number. We split the price in half. We have loads of pairs of numbers there. All you have to do is pick the right two pairs to match the price, OK? Every time you pick one pair of numbers, we'll lift it off. If there's a picture of a CD there, picture of the unit, we'll put it on the bottom there. If it's wrong, we move it across to the pound signs, you win the cash equivalent. The game is over once all the pound signs are filled up and you win that cash that's there and the unit stays here then. Does that make sense, yes, mate? Yeah. OK, mate. Give me a pair of numbers you think are going to be in the price. Yeah. Doesn't matter what order. Four, seven. Four, seven? Four, seven, yeah. Four, seven? Four, seven? Four, seven? Is it? The price is a cash. What is it? Four, seven. No! Oh! It's 47 quid. 47 quid you've got so far, Paul. Try again, mate. Try again. Yeah. What's the missus saying? Oh, no. It's up to you, mate. It's your choice. One, one four. One four? One four. One four. One four? Yeah? Is it cash or is it half the price? Is it cash or price? What is it? Oh, it's 14 quid, Paul. Come on, we haven't got any yet, Paul. What do you think, Paul? Three five. Three five? Three five. Three five. That one there, mate? Three five? Sure? OK, three five. Is it cash or is it the picture of cash? Is it cash? It's cash, Paul! You've got one chance left, mate. You've got to get them both now. You've got to get them both. What do you think, Paul? 41. 41? 41? Yeah, they sound like they agree with you. 41. Is it 41 pounds or is it half the price? 41! 41! Right. You've got to find the other half now, mate. Come on, you can do this. Work this out. What's it going to be, Paul? What's it going to be, mate? What do you think, mate? You work that one out on your own. What do you think? Three nine. Three nine? 
Sure. Last chance. Three nine. Yeah. Sure. Hundred percent. Three nine. Is it cash? Is he a win? Is it cash? What is it? Is it? No. Oh no, Paul. I'm sorry. What is it? What we're looking? Is it two? No. Where is it? Where is it? It's got to be the two nine. It was a two nine. Uh, I'm sorry, Paul. You won £135 in cash there, Paul. Paul. So it means also you've got a chance on the wheel, chance on the Pasquale finale. Join us after the break with Paul at the wheel. We'll see you soon. These Asda mince pies are so yummy, you won't want to leave any out for Santa. Leave him some celery instead. He could do with shedding a few pounds. A Christmas dinner wouldn't be complete without an Asda Christmas pudding. It's so tasty, it definitely won't be a leftover you'll be eating on Boxing Day. Welcome back to The Price is Right. We have three players ready for a spin on the wheel. Welcome to the famous wheel, everybody. I'll explain the rules quickly to you. This is the famous wheel. Everybody gets a spin this now. Whoever gets the closest to 100 with either one or two spins without going over the 100 goes through to a spin-off situation, the Pasquale finale against Steve. Remember, it's got to go all the way around once. If you do get 100 or either one or two spins, you go back with a £1,000 cash in your pocket. Annie, you're up first, sweetheart. Right. Give it a good hard spin all the way around, darling. Come on, Annie. Annie, well done, lovely. Get back here with me and see what gets at the front there. Well done, love. Good heavy spin. Ooh. Ooh. That's a 60, Annie. What do you think? You want to stick or spin again? It's back to you. If you spin again, you don't want to go above a 40. It's your choice, darling. You can have another go. Yeah, you want another go? It's up to you. Your choice. Yeah. Yep, okay, darling, off you go. Then don't go over 40. We don't want to go over 40. Give it a good hard spin, Annie. Well done, love. We've got a 60. We don't want to go above a 40 here, Annie. Ooh. Oh, Annie. I'm sorry, darling. All Give right. me a kiss. Thanks okay. for playing. Big round of applause for Annie. Go that way, darling. Thanks for playing, Annie. Paul, you're up, mate. You're up, son. Give it a good hard spin, Paul. Well done, mate. Okay, Paul. Whatever you get, Paul, you're going to be in the lead with here, mate. Okay, hey, Paul. <laughs> 75. What do you think, Paul? I'll stick. You're sticking on Sunday. OK, stay in that fish. You look after you. Well done, mate. OK, 75 to beat, Janet. Come on, darling. Well done, well done, Janet. Well done, darling. Come on, darling. Come stand back here. 75 to beat from Paul. That's a good hard spin from a little lady, wasn't it? No. Oh, you got a 35, you're going to have to spin again. OK, love. 35. 35 playing 75. You need at least 40. 35. 35, 35. Oh, I'm sorry, it's only a 55, Janet. Thanks for playing, guys. Well done, that well done. Thanks for playing, Janet. Paul, come here, mate. Well done, Paul. Come this side on me, mate. Let's bring Steve back in. Come round with Steve. Well done, mate, Steve. This is Paul. Well done, lads. Well done, Steve. Good luck on this, lads. Let me explain the rules. This is one spin only, lads. One spin only situation. No thousand pound rule applies on this, OK? Whoever gets the closest to 100 with one spin only goes through to the showcase at the end, OK? Steve, what do you want to do? You're, you've got a choice of going first or second, mate. I'll go second. You're going to go second, OK? This is one spin only. I'll reset to 100. OK, mate. Paul, one spin only, no thousand pound rules apply. Closest to 100 goes through at the showcase. Off you go, mate. <laughs> on, mate. Stay there, mate. That's a 30, Paul. 30, mate, going mad. We should look after you. 30. OK, reset to 100. OK, mate, you've got 30 to beat, Steve, in your own time, mate. Hold on, mate. Go inside, mate. Well, done, Steve. Looking for something to beat at 30. Steve, 
a 15. Well done, mate. Thanks for playing, Steve. Thank you, mate. Well, nice to meet you, mate. You. Thanks a lot. God yeah. bless. Cole, come here, mate. Stay this side, mate. Are you all right? You ready for this? Yeah, I'm let's, uh, Don't rush too soon. Let's go and see. You ready for your showcase? I am, yeah. Come with me, let's go see what he's got. Come on, this side, Paul. Come there, Al. Well done, Paul. Congratulations, you've got to end, mate. OK, mate, let me explain. This is our rangefinder board. This is where we're going to determine the price range you have to be within to win today's showcase. Numbers are flashing up in front of you on the board there, Paul. Hit that red button in your own time. Try and stop it on the highest figure you can. Gives you the best chance on the showcase today, mate. Whenever you're ready, hit the red button, love. 4,000! 4,000! Well done, son. Well done. That's a good high range. It's the highest one you get, mate. That means you can be under by as much as £4,000 on your bid, but not one penny over. OK, what's going to happen, Paul? The prize is going to be shown to you on the big screen. Look at every prize you see, think about it. Give every prize a price in your head, add it all up, do the sums, it works. <laughs> Give me a figure at the end of the showcase representing the entire showcase, bearing in mind you've got a big range of £4,000. Use it wisely, OK? Good luck on this, Paul. <laughs> this is your showcase. Your showcase today, Paul, begins with this imposing stone statue. Modern in style and excitingly contemporary in essence, this would liven up any living space. But how about transforming your living space further with these stunning items of designer Diablo furniture? Featuring two- and three-seater sumptuous sofas in fashionable black and coming with an ultra-modern coffee table to complete the perfect transformation, it's time to plan that next social gathering. But enough socialising at home. Grab your suitcase and passport, because you and your family are off for a superb two-week trip to Salou in sunny Spain. Enjoy the fabulous beaches, sample the finest sangria, visit the Port of Ventura theme park, boogie the night away in the fashionable clubs and bars. It's up to you. And we're even throwing in £750 spending money for good measure. And when you get back, how about taking this away with you? It's a top-of-the-range jet ski, complete with trailer. Boasting an awesome 110 brake horsepower and featuring many luxuries as standard, there's no better way to have fun, fun, fun for years to come. And all these unbelievable prizes could be yours, Paul, if the price is right. Okay, mate. Think about all of that, mate. There's a statue. The furniture, the holiday, plus the cash, jet ski. Okay, remember your rain. Use it wisely. Okay. Got any ideas, mate? Got any first faults? Fourteen thousand five hundred. Is that your first faults? Got four grand, have my job. Four thousand pound. Yep. Thirteen thousand five hundred. Thirteen thousand five hundred. Okay, so we want. OK, 13,500. Put 13,500 up on the screen, please. 13,500 pounds. Is that what your missus said? Yeah. And your believer? I hope so. And your truster? I hope so. OK, mate, well, I hope so as well, love. OK. 13,000 pounds, 500, OK? 4,000 pounds is your range. You can be under by as much as 4,000 pounds, not one penny over. You're playing for the statue, the furniture, Two weeks holiday plus the 750 cash plus the jet ski. I don't know where you're going to use a jet ski in the Wirral, but I dare say there's places to use it if you get this. Good luck on this, mate, OK? I hope you get this. Your final bid is £13,500. Paul, the actual price of your showcase today is. Well, they say hell hath no fury like a woman scorned, and proof of that tonight on ITV1. Joe's scheming like there's no tomorrow in Emmerdale at seven, and after that, Tracy's got plans for Charlie Corey at half seven.